out. Okay, welcome to the podium. This is uh, the podium, uh, your weekly live show, broadcasting every Saturday and Thursday at 4 p.m. Today I'm joined by Owen. Uh, Uncle Owen. He's been away at Jabba with that Jabba day, Racha day, Kweka. Yeah. So we are going to talk about quite a couple of things as you see. I want to Never soon again, that maso. I'm so came with sharing in your groups, in your on your WhatsApp, on your timelines everywhere. So that's your talk get a call. Fenafena to you, and you can give us your contributions. Uh, today, uh, oh, first of all, yeah. first say hi to those people. About the job, what did you have to request? What Hey, what did you have to do? Almost every day. Uh, hello, viewers. Mm. I'm Uncle Owen Gabi. I've been around. Mm. Then I'm Kwasa Ganyavidala. Yeah, so I'm going to as usual. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, welcome back. And today, Sandra is not with us. She's uh, not feeling very fine. So I'm going to tell But when she gets better, she'll be with us. And she has a couple of funds already among us. So I'm going to tell just to tell you a guy. Anyway, to get a mass, uh, today, there's uh, throughout the week, uh, actually throughout the weekend, up to today, BJ, but there will be too many things have happened, and uh, we are here to discuss some of that. And part of that is uh, the Bobby Wine, the Bell Cool, being in Afrima, what are their roles there, what are they doing there. You'll be telling us, we'll be letting you know as far as we know, number one, we have money, and we find a common ground. Then, as well, uh, there was an issue of uh, uh, the, the chick in Babankoza, is it chosen Becky? Yes, uh, she fired her manager, uh, who was a fellow artist. Now, to end up at Tubikugamba, then in that mix, still uh, B2C they fired their manager and the events. Why we'll be letting you know. Uh, then, of course, the Diamond Platinum's video age about banning, the why was it banned, and what is his response, and of course. A couple of shows coming up, uh, international stars coming to East Africa, David is coming back, Steph London, I mean, a couple of those. To get up, get up, all the stories, as well, there are major points. There's so, to start with, first of all, Owen, to get up and create more East Africa, Tanzania. Diamond's new video titled Mwanza featuring Ray Vani was banned by, by, by is it Badassa? It's, it's a. It's, a, it's, a, it's like a, a camp, uh, a what? An organization mm. that regulates uh, the, the content mm. in Tanzania. And those are the UPRS, so it's the inner authority. So it banned Diamond's new video titled Mwanza. One of the reasons they give, some of the reasons they give, uh, it doesn't go by the standards, uh, cultures, and norms of the country. Mm-hmm. So for them they say it's it's actually not the video until you know uh, about it. Yes, yeah. no, it's the lyrics actually. Yeah. They say the lyrics are explicit. Have you listened to the song? Yeah. Is it really explicit? <laughs> of course. Uh, what brought all this? Uh, it was that word Nyegesh. From the word Nyege, something like that. Yeah. And uh, you see, for a country like Tanzania where everybody should be allowed by it, whether a musician or who, yeah. the law is really for yeah. So uh, they had a reason mm. because if you look at them critically, that is the reason why mm. they blocked. Which uh, literally it is okay, you get it. Literally, it is, literally okay. it is okay because once a law is in place, mm. people must stop abide by the law. Yes. Nobody is above it. And for that case, I think they are right. Though of course, Diamond Diamond's response was also good. So I think uh, depending on Diamond's response, it will help them like try to work on that law. Either they amend it. Mm. Or change it, something like that, to fit, to fit, mm. so that because that for Diamond's case, he says mm. the music is not only for Tanzanians. Yes. Besides that, it was that. like you can regulate, mm-hmm. but can it please be played at night? Mm-hmm. Radio stations okay. and media yes. played at night when where you? kids are sleeping, okay. or because there are programs that are shown. Yeah, the late night, night. Yeah, night. Because, night was because of, of obvious course, Yeah. Mm. So basically, it was like if. The music, okay, the law is there because you can't deviate from that. It's like, let the music be played at night, mm. late night, on radio stations and yes. other television stations, something like that. Mm. Then, for other countries that 
that word is not a problem for them. They can enjoy, but if you ban it like from all social media platforms, the, the music the music should be released, mm. you are like barring you from leaving this country yes. to go and make and some money somewhere. Actually yeah. brought pointed out like he expected to be called for Nyaganyaga Festival because of that song. Mm. Yes. That in fact he said mm. before I leave this country. For me to be booked outside you can't, this country, mm. I'm paid not less than seventy thousand US dollars. Yes, he said it. Yeah. And, uh, he said he pays tax for that. He, pay, he gives mm -hmm. the government a lot of revenue. Yeah, true. So his music cannot be really already because it's not the first time it's being banned. Yeah. Uh, his song Hallelujah, even Nova mm. they have been. They've been, always been. Always yeah, yeah. So, mm. so actually, a section of his fans think he's just being targeted by that organization because for them they say. Not many other songs, which are even more explicit, are banned. Mm -hmm. But whenever Diamond comes up with a song, they look at it as. So I don't know. Uh, do you think Uganda should also adopt that? <laughs> you, because you, we have other. We have laws. But just think, our laws are our lawmakers, or uh, our legislators uh, are lenient. Oh, no, uh, so like law enforcers yeah, yeah, are lenient. Yeah. Let me use that word. Mm. Our law enforcers are lenient. But yeah. the laws are there. Okay. Only that our law enforcers are lenient. They, and with Tanzania, it's different. Mm. Nobody's above the law. Mm. Doesn't matter who you are. Mm -hmm. So, for me, the law here in Uganda is there. But our law enforcers are too yeah, weak to, like, to enforce this kind regulate. of laws and regulate okay. and all that, blah, blah. Yeah. Mm, but do you think we need it? It is there. I know that we need it. It's already there. <laughs> it's there. Yes. Because if you say, do we need it? It's, like, it's not there. Okay. Mm. Uh, Sentongo Dennis, I see you. Uh, the volume okay. We'll try to be a bit louder. But thank you for watching again. As you watch, please share in your groups, in your platforms, wherever you can, and join the conversation. Let us know. Uh, do you think uh, Diamond Song Mwanza? Have you even watched it? Mwanza Nyegeshi. Eh, yeah, that one. What does it mean? <laughs> like from Nyege, Nyege, Nyegeshi comes from the word Nyege. Yes. Nyege is the urge to have. Koitas. I don't know which one to use, best to use, because we are media and nobody may look for us. <laughs> okay. So, uh, but, uh, <laughs> but urge yeah. to want to do something for the for the uh, mature people. Right. That's what we call it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, okay, whoever is watching, uh, let us please share. That is the main thing. So, that Tony Mira, let's have more people on board. And as you watch, drop a comment. Let us give you some shout outs. And as well, give us reactions as per the, the, the topics we are discussing. Uh, we shall leave that diamond aspect, but let us know what you think about it. Then I think we'll go to the. But before you leave that, that okay. I thought of uh, highlighting on the diamond's response. Yes. I found it so professional and uh, like if you were part of the, the other team that banned the song, mm. you would think twice. Let me ask, what did this say exactly? Like uh, in reply, he gave uh, various reasons. Yes. Uh, the first reason he gave mm. was that uh, one, it is okay because they he believes in the law. Yes, it is okay, mm. and he was like, if we can, if they can think about it, like when he put out his point, he was like, mm. if you people can think about all this, like I can, I'm paid like uh, seventy thousand yes. over seventy thousand. So, so. Yeah, $10. the least money can be paid to live Tanzania is seventy thousand. Mm. So it's like if I can be paid that amount, mm. and still bring back and invest home. Yes, you get it. Mm. Because, and, and the other thing was like, uh, the song can be played late in the night within Tanzania. Mm. Then it was like, it was, was requesting the song not to be banned like from YouTube and blah blah all. Mm. Because he we was saying like, he the song should be scrapped. So it was like, our fans all over the world. Yeah, so some, some of my content yeah. is not really. Yes, actually he was saying, if he wasn't in Canada for the show, mm. he would have gone to the office direct and talked to them like one on one. Yeah, yeah. Because in most cases, if he, had, he has always had his problems and he had always faced yeah, problems. Yeah, yeah, so he had to use social media because he was five years in Canada. Mm. And he was like, and to me, I think whatever he wrote was very okay, very professional. Mm. And not pinning them, but trying to show them what that song mm. would like add on him and Tanzania as a whole. Yes. Which I think it was so spun. Okay. Mm. Uh, says what Ozil, you're a good life soldier. Thank you for joining the podium. As you watch, please share. Again, I will tell you. Uh, to be named as take a call, Alfred says, let him stop calling people. Uh, a what I don't know, I don't know what you said, but I think you say it's a vulgar song, so yeah, we all, we agree in some sense, but we've had even more. But anyway, the government here against the mass on burning, but on YouTube, actually, it has so many views. Definitely. Does this actually get him more views? Like every time. 
a song is banned, you have, you actually check the views they on it. Of course, people are interested in knowing yeah, what is what's up. What's up? Why is it really being but banned? Have you no, because he said actually tourists will come to Tanzania because of that. Mwanza is a town, mm. like we say, Bali or Truro or somewhere. Yeah. So Bali, Mwanza is a town, and it's like people will want to come to Mwanza and mm. try to understand what was really them talking about. This yeah, the yeah. Mwanza was talking about yeah. because even the views are shot in, in Mwanza. It was yeah. like. I'm trying like to boost even the tourism industry yeah. with this kind of music. So of if you say ban it from all social media platforms, all the be the digital and whatever, mm. you're actually killing the economy. You know? And to me I thought it was a very good response. Of which if these people are if they're linear enough, they can think about it and see how they can mm. revise that law so that it can accommodate that kind of music but in a more professional and like in a win win way. Yeah, that yeah. is benefits and the government, the government also, uh, so yeah. that it doesn't you don't lose like the whole thing because of just uh, a word or two from the song. Okay, on to the next one. Please tell us what do you think about Diamond's song being banned and his response. If you don't know what exactly it is, you can always check us out on www.tumbo.ng. The stories are always there. So uh, get a poke every day and you see, and you give us your feedback. So on to the next, uh, over, I think, uh, towards the start of the week, uh, for, uh, who, who is this rapper? Victor Kamenyo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Havana government is no longer managing Chosen Beck. Now Chosen Beck is the is the female artist behind the song Bankusa. I don't know why you like it, but yeah, that song it has really put her at some level in the entertainment industry. So all along she has been under what's the name? What it's called Unique Products. Unique Unique? Yeah, Unique Product. Nick, sorry, Nick. Nick Products. Product. Nick Products. Nick Products and she has been managed personally by Victor Kamenyo. Now, when this news came to us, we, 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 we made a poll on, online and we asked, don't you think it will affect her as an artist? That is one. Then next, uh, what does she benefit from it? Or does Victor Kamenyo benefit? That's two. Then now we ask, should artists, this is going by example, should artists, manage fellow artists because Victor Kamenyo himself is a rapper, he's an artist. Mm. And then chosen Becky, an uprising artist as well. So what is the connection? Uh, if you have any other examples of artists who are managing artists, you can let us know and let us know what you think of it. Owen, what do you think, first of all? Uh, does Victor Kamenyo, who, who benefits more? I, I think I think they both it's a win win for okay. both sides. Mm -hmm. Personally, uh, I don't I uh, think an artist can manage different artists. You don't think? I don't think it yeah. can work. Because I see management comes a lot yeah. and needs your full concentration. Yeah. The same applies to music. Yeah. If you're gonna do music you need like to give it your all. That's why those who have given their all to the music, they yeah. really uh, like they have benefited from it. Yeah. So basically to me I think both sides would, would enjoy because yeah. it will give time for because I'm considering his career and mm. push his music further. Mm. Then for Jason Becky, I think it's a good move personally mm. because I don't believe in artists me and another artist. Mm. So just I'm yet to know which what, what which, she, which manager is going to handle her. But what she, what she isn't she because mm. under Victor Camino's management mm. we've seen this song concert. and her mm. concert and everything which they get and they will get that so fast. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So fast yeah. As much as we will argue that I, we, we don't we don't think it was Victor coming or single handedly, yeah. but him being the manager we know makes much sense yeah. that she, he has made his, he has he has played his part. part. Yes. So so now when that all go away in some way, you No, know, there's always uh, every journey mm. as beginning is Genesis and it's end. Yes, definitely. Mm. De, de, uh, sorry, uh, Victor Kamenyo mm. could have played his best but, part. Mm. And, he, and it's time for her to seek for greener purposes, which I have no problem with. Because at the end of the day... But why now? Of course, now, it's, too early. it's never too early for anything. Mm. You don't say it is early now, let me wait. You get it? Mm. You move when you're right. When you find When you feel, yes, okay. your reason to, oh, reasons to, why you should move. Okay. So for her to move, I think uh, it's a good one, though I'm yet to find out who is going to manage her after the Vita Kamenyan thing. Mm. That's my question. Who? Because mm. you may leave uh, Vita Kamenyo and go to someone who is again, eh, eh. Mm. you get it, yeah. the music is there, but uh, because I, there I, are people actually here, I, that the media of Uganda uh, can never welcome them positively. Yeah. So whenever you bring their, they bring their faces in anything, however good it is, people mm. will reject. I heard um, she's now under 
David Lutaro's hair as manager. The same thing I did, and I, I think the same thing I had mm. because I don't have confirmation. But if that's the case, mm. I think it's a good move. Sure. Yes. Okay. Whatever the case, you let us know. Mulondo Fred Luke Collins says artists managing themselves is the hardest any artist can go through. Uh, it is easy to let them go, but to move on. Uh, I think he's trying to say it's, it's really hard for an artist mm. to manage a fellow artist, which I also agree to. Because now, you are an artist, you have to keep your, you get it. your brand going. Then, on the other side, you are handling, you are another, handling brand. another brand. Which, but, but I think Wix has done a good job, but yeah, yes. yeah like you said, yes. it's time to. Yes. Okay. Let's give him credit. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, we'll go on to the next one. But please keep keep the reactions coming in together. Now in the same uh, the same bracket of management, B two C the B two C soldiers fired their long time manager uh, and the events and, events. and, the, and the, is it and the, his real name there are just, uh, right? um, there are something, something. And, yeah so he was fired now this is the guy who, has, who gave them almost everything they have. I gave book bo- uh, Yabafunile's show, those those concerts, songs, concerts. concerts. I mean, almost everything. And for them, they refer to him as a father, a mentor, and so much more. They have so much respect for him. But the even to surrounding why he was fired uh, it, it involves money. The Wabakola concert, their recent concert, was very successful. But uh, he gave them only five million. From all I had, like from all the three concerts. Now, for them, they, they didn't even take the money. I told him, no, you keep your money and leave. Or just take it. Yes. But uh, when we tried to reach uh, Ande, for him, he said, no, everything, that was after we had written the other story. He said, no, everything with us is okay. Every artist, Baba no no with the management, Baba was even to be telling that we are going to be okay. So we're like, okay, very fine. If the, the, the camp is alright, then all is good. Mm. And then we come to this week, I think it was Monday or Tuesday. B2C release, official release uh, official an official. official. <laughs> yes, official communication. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know if I can read it for you. Uh, and then some of some of the things they were like, okay, we thank we thank who? We thank and events for mm-hmm. all he has done for us. Uh, if it was not for him, we would not be where we are. So they thanked him very much. They are really grateful. But they say we are sorry to inform him that we are sorry to inform our fans mm-hmm. that Mugera has got other pressing Issues, commitments. Yes, yeah. that yet for them they need a, a manager who can give them a hundred percent. Which you've been talking about that management you need to put in all or yeah. stay So that's how never So now I ask. Who is the boss of the earth? You see, it you depends on how. Mm. You see, the problem we always feel, to have, and like I've always said, memorandum of our is very important. Mm. When these boys were coming up, it's Ade who picked them. Yes. You get under here, he has, is, it, uh, is, it an, is he an uncle or a brother, the cousin brother, is one of them actually. Okay. Mm. You get it. Now, it reaches a point, mm. like any other, this, like I've always said, these artists who are signed from scratch, Come when they're desperate. Let's be honest. Yeah. Come when they're desperate, they really need to shoot up. Yeah. Then when they get up there, yeah. they, get they, 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 yeah, they reach a point of land. It's no longer again the desperate for the fame, it's desperate for the money. The money. And that's what the money they're going to fail to understand. That. Yeah. When they reach a point, when they are coming, yeah. they're desperate for name and for fame. Yeah. Now, when the, the fame comes in, they begin now getting desperate for the money now. They're the exposed now, yeah. Now, the, what they need is money. Because then I have got the name, but I need one as well yeah. to match the the name I have. Yes. You get it. Mm. So I think that's where these managers try to forget. And uh, of course, we cannot underestimate the fact that these managers, in most cases, invest a lot of money yeah, in these artists, like yeah. dressing up, mm. looking mm. good, doing what, running them, and making sure. Appearance. Yeah, a star appearance. If they go on even to get this and buy yeah. for them cars and promotion, so promotion and 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 thank you. Yeah. So they go through a lot. But if they can only understand that when it reaches a point, there's a point where they reach and they must understand these boys or oh, these artists now need money. Mm. Not again the name because the name is already there. Mm. You have given them the name. It's time to give them money. Yeah. You get it? Because so, at the end of the day, mm. a name without money is like, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't. Because we've seen artists, Olimba, Enoruchia, Kuba, Nenga, Wamutoka, 
Okay. So now that's the role of the management, which has been doing very well. But now what's next for the B2C? They say they will announce a new manager very soon, but I don't know what you see. Oh. Just to me, I think they are good. Mm. They are good. Musically. Musically. Mm. Like mm -hmm. you know, away from controversies, mm. you've never you've never heard of it. Mm. And people know them basically for music. For music so yeah. for now, unless there is that in popular we don't have. Because we've seen managers when they part out part ways with the artists, mm. they begin fighting them against the same managers who begin fighting. So right. that they fail and show them that I was I was, I was, I was doing something, uh -huh, I was influential, mm. something like that. Mm. So if that's not there in that picture, which is so difficult in the Ghana music industry, mm. which is so difficult, like, that's you, whoever has broken up with the manager, trust me, yeah, yeah. most of them are pulling, like, this yeah. yeah, you see, like, they're really struggling. Mm. So to me, if Andy doesn't do anything like that, mm. if he doesn't do anything doesn't like that, revenge and, revenge and want to prove a point, mm. And I think they are good to go. They are good. They will, they they will, will continue. Yeah, they will continue. Because they have their fame, they have their funds already. Funds already there, we, yeah. we saw the concert so was very say, successful. Mm. So they just need to a maintain. Good manager, yeah. just need a good manager who is going to do the same work that yeah. Andy did. Which is, uh, which is hard, of course. Yeah. But, but it depends, that, as we say, mm. who is coming in the office. Okay, so you let us know what you think. Uh, Makudona, who is always Mrs. Beautiful. <laughs> This is beautiful, Bambi. On the next show on Saturday, okay. we are sure she'll be around. And uh, maybe to Jamua Obobaka, Mr. McDonald. Uh, going ahead, uh, what else has been there uh, this week? Uh, uh, David is coming back to East Africa, to, to Kenya, to be exact. Uh, I got a, uh, he has a show, okay. He has a show there, but he's not the only person coming back. And uh, Mr. Izzy Mwarimo Uganda, actually, he has a listener's party uh, today, tonight. Mm -hmm. So, and then we are having Steph London, these are American rappers, mm -hmm. designer, and another man by the names of Bass. They are all coming to Kenya. Now, we are, why, why do you think East Africa as a whole? Mm -hmm. Okay, Kenya, but East Africa as a whole, mm -hmm. Uganda too. Where, where are we being targeted by this? If you remember our past conversations, mm. I've always told you, Uganda, or East Africa, let me use the word East Africa. Okay. East Africa has become the other region mm. that any artist from abroad can mm. come and meet millions of shillings. Okay. I, I, if I'm to concentrate on Kenya, mm. Nairobi has become the epitome of East African music. Yeah. I remember one time when I were here, I told you, the reason why these boys are rushing to Kenya, they are trying to uproot Joseca Million, which they have done successfully. Diamond, yes. and uh, Ray Yes, those are the artists training in Kenya. Foreign artists training in Kenya are those. Okay. You get it? Mm. So, and then previously, the, dominance, the foreign artist has been dominating in Kenya has been Kamiya. Yeah. So now you East find, Africa, yeah, Africa. Yeah. so you find that in, in Kenya, mm. it is more of Wasafi having gigs than any other foreign artist. Mm. If you have checked in the last one yeah. year, yeah. after all of this year. Yeah, when you look at those major concerts, no, major concerts festivals. festivals and what mm. now was that features the point of putting was festival in Nairobi what does that show you they are really putting so it's Nairobi has become it and as the Tanzanians are very smart mm. they, they also embrace Kenya yeah they try to belong there yeah they do their listeners parties from there their album launches, the launches you get it and I don't know how Ugandans oh, are oh, oh Ugandans we can't cross because of first of all language barrier I've told that yeah, in yeah, September okay, okay, yeah. we've had problem with language barrier our music can be played yes but can people catch up with can the young people in Kenya catch up with that music? Mm. They really can't. You get it. So it's so difficult like for them to they even would have wanted to enjoy our music. They would have yes, but not to the level that they would and besides these Tanzanians mm. sing in uh we like calling we in Swahili we call it uh, in um, how is it called? Like you may say if someone is singing like Bobby One, you'll use he uh, your street words. So even Tanzanians, when they are singing the diamonds, mm. they use those sweet words with the young people, young population. Relate to. Relate to. Mm. And the words they want to hear, and the, the words, same words they use in campuses, mm. high schools, and whatsoever. Mm. So you find that there's a connection, a slang, mm. there's connection. Mm. You get it? Mm. So basically, those, uh, we have a lot to do as a Uganda artist. As a Uganda artist, we have a lot to do. Okay. But uh, uh, again, I will tell you, uh, Mr. Easy, the Nigerian, is in Uganda. He has a listener's party tonight. To uh, what our details on our page, uh, you can even check our Twitter. Everything is there. 
atumbo.uj so ah okugena maso now we come to the major topic of today bebe cool bobby why why is this battle coming up all together again ah uh, uh, bobby why was bebe cool was nominated in the best male east africa artist in the afrim awards these are all africa music awards not the double m not the afrim of double m the one of single these ones are going to take place in ghana and uh Bebe Cool was nominated alongside Diamond, alongside a couple more other artists who are the biggest artists in Africa, actually, in East Africa. Now, being nominated yeah, is one actually, thing. Four artists from Tanzania, oh, from the same record label. Mm-hmm. Three, actually. Ray Harmonize, mm-hmm. Ray Vani, and Diamond. Three from the same the record same label. Category. Yes. Three. F- three artists from the same record label. Okay. Uh, that is with Bebe Cool, the same category. Now, uh, just, I think yesterday, Afrima released the list of panelists who are going to uh, attend the Afrima Music, I think something, what, what is it, let me check, it is the Afrima, sorry for that, but yes, Afrima Music Business Summit, which will take place on, uh, I think it will take place on 22nd, this month, mm-hmm. uh, in, in what, uh, in Ghana. Now, Accra, Ghana, that is. So, I was saying how many, most tabloids, how many, most newspapers brought it is Bobby Wine uh, named Judge in awards where Bebe Cool is nominated. Mm. Now, there's a, there's, there's, a, there's a clash between the two, of course, for obvious reasons, political, <laughs> musical. Mm. And now, the way these newspapers presented it, there was so much excitement on social media. People saying, uh huh. Now it's Bobby Wine's chance to have power over Bebe Cool. Uh, yes, okay. <laughs> in, in some way. Yes, in some, in some yes. way, if yeah. I'm to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. So now, but uh, the people, power people are like, now how we have you? Do we now you You can't win when we are here. We are the ones in control. For them, they thought, Bobby Wine being a panelist who was part of the jury, the judges that, that are going to true. decide, no, this one deserves the award, this one doesn't. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was it caused so much excitement on social media. Today, when I was going through exactly trying to not to see if it is really the case, I realized that Bobby Wine was invited as a speaker mm-hmm. at the business summit, summit yeah. the music business summit, mm-hmm. which will happen just like three days before the actual award ceremony. I think the awards, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. The, the awards on twenty fourth, yeah. Yes, twenty fourth. And that's uh, two days to the yeah, two days to the main event. Now, people confuse the two, but, but either way, why is all this happening? Is it, <laughs> is it a promotional thing? Is it a coincidence? What, what is Afri- why is Afrima bringing in Bob Dylan first of all? When, when I saw that, mm. I remember the, the song of Katara. Mm. They are defeating musically, physically, politically, and academically. Yeah. Now it's, it's... And financially and besides. Yeah. And uh, to be frank, or to be honest, mm. to government people and uh, Firebase mm. army guys. Mm. To be honest, mm. at this point, Bebe Cool is not at the same level with Bobby Wine. That one we have to agree. We don't, he wants to do the, the, the thing. In all sense. In, yeah. all, in all categories that I've named, that he put it like previously, okay. Okay. it's very okay. Yeah. Because you can't the Bobby is here. Yeah. Musically, yeah. Is, is okay. Yeah. If you went physically, definitely, we all know. When he goes, I don't know how she put it, but to be frank, is. Baby Cool, mm. or oh, Baby Cool fans, yeah. actually Baby Cool may not use Baby Cool because Baby Cool will keep tabs on Bobby Wine mm. so that his it, boy his boat keeps on moving. Mm. That's to be frank because if he, he stood back and said no, mm. let me let Bobby be. Mm. Perhaps we have a different baby. Perhaps all the social media baby because where this boy boy and this baby somewhere. That doesn't he use that to write though? Oh, that I'm telling you is using that to make sure his boat keeps moving. To keep relevant. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. So because now if you talk, you either talk about baby cool musical and this kind of political Policy, stuff. Yeah. yeah. You either talk about baby cool oh, or Bobby Wine. Yeah. At least you will find you find that people are Actually, it. those are the two sides now. Definitely. We've lost not the even, chameleon, not we've not lost the radio and wizard. We've lost all of them. Not even Bosco actually. We've, we've lost him to Bebe Cool. Hey. We've lost him to Bebe Cool. Actually, Bosco has become under the Bebe Cool. Yeah. At the moment. He's yeah. under Bebe Cool and, yeah. and Bebe Cool is up. Which is really... It's doing for him wonders. And, and that is the influence of music actually. Definitely. In this culture. Mm. There's so much influence. And 
And uh, those were who are cheering that. You people enjoyed it. I watched the video. I was watching drive, but again, I went back and watched. You know, there are those videos. People enjoy themselves. Now, I have some comments uh, that I want to read out. I know we have less than five minutes to end the show, but yes. Uh, let me read out. Mulondo uh, Frederick, Frederick Collins uh, has a comment here. Yes, he says. Okay, Owen, many artists have come up to fame from scratch because people who get them up there do it with their love, brotherhood, and passion. It ends up blinding them to doing no random of understanding. Uh, when the artist fails, fails to see the value of their fame and name of, and name of the Bungabudja. Okay, I think it's trying to say, initially, like for the case of uh, B2C, mm -hmm. And the events you have a ponga with the love, the passion, Nabo they, they embraced him and decided this is the guy to take us forward. With the love and passion, like he says. But when the fame comes in, uh, all the brotherhood disappears. And uh, it's it's at that point it's hard to create a memorandum of understanding because I've brought you from scratch for over five years mm -hmm. and now it's now you're telling me to find a common ground. Josh, mm. I was yesterday I was listening to uh, I was watching a certain program mm. and there's a lady uh, who said that you can create a company mm. but the company reaches a point and it outgrows you. Mm. It's so big for you. Mm -hmm. What does that imply? Today is you need expatriates, you need lawyers, you need accountants. Mm. That's what thank you. Different branches. That means it has outgrown yeah, you. Yeah. It's, it's, bigger, cool. you it's bigger than you actually. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Well, because you began, it doesn't mean you should finish with it. No. Okay. So what does that imply? To whatever other companies keep on riding, even when the owners retire, they still moving yeah, successfully. Yeah. Even when they die, even when companies they die, the company remains and is intact because yeah. it's, it overrode the owner, and the owner realized. And then you have companies where if the owner says today I'm going, today I'm not, I'm not waking up, it is closed. You get it. So basically, like this, this is business. Mm. Once it, once it grows, it outgrows brotherhood. It outgrows friendship, it becomes an entity whereby what you are looking at is maximizing profits, and that's what every company does, unless it's an entity. Mm -hmm. But that's what every entity does to maximize profits. Mm -hmm. Now, if it reaches that point whereby we are not maximizing profits because of brotherhood and friendship, mm -hmm. then it should collapse. Friendship should be yeah. put aside. At some point, it yes. should be professional. It should be professional. Let's look at the business side of the of, of the work. Mm. You get it? Mm. Because now, if he says that brother, at first, yes, at first, because it hasn't reached the other level where it needs professionalism. That's where we bring in brotherhood. Mm. You need a car. A friend will give you first go and do the show and come back. You oh, need oh, a clothes. Oh, he goes yeah. to his boutique. He gets his clothes. Yeah, he yeah. put and will bring it back. At that point, the company hasn't done what. But once it grows, where there is a point where by then things, to, then things change. Hey, you don't use the same formula. The hey, okay. you don't use the same form formula as you began with to the point when the company has grown and you expect to win. No, you can't beat the competition. Okay. Blessed Orient says, at a time like this, I think Uganda should overlook the differences and support their own. Plus, I think even if Bobby ha was to be a judge on this, he would do the right much more thing he always has. Do you agree? <laughs> I do agree. I think this is a big, big, big <laughs> Being a panelist is not bad because being a panelist that means they know he understands music. He's an entrepreneur. He yeah. understands the business. He has the business knowledge. Mm. You get it? Mm. He's an educated man. So all attributes, actually, what one thing there to me is not by mistake. Mm. It's by merit. It's on merit. Mm -hmm. It's by merit because he has all the attributes. And actually, now you get it. The timing also. After the time, okay, the timing, mm. things come. Of course, you see when they say when God opens the window, even the windows are open. So apparently, I think that's what Bobo is enjoying. Yeah, yeah. That the doors were open, everything plus the windows, everything is just coming in place. Thank you so much. Mulando Fred is calling says that it's not, uh, I think he's re responding to Blessed Oriente, says it's not about nationality, it's about music. I can't vote an artist who is not artistic to me because he's Uganda. I think he's trying to say and he, he wants to vote never. Never food. Yes. And he says never, like you, As that's so you. strong. When I yeah, you. sometimes like okay, it that depends on what position you are in. Mm. Because there are people who are super patriotic. That where there's a Ugandan, it, it doesn't, doesn't matter, matter who or what is Kanye West or who. Me, I will vote for Ugandan. Though there are those who look at quality, 
Oh, oh, look at the products. What do you bring on the table? Doesn't matter either your gun. Whether your gun is well, you vote. You vote. Of course, you are put out. Those people are also there. Apparently, us we are in that position. Who are in the middle? We are in that position because you can't say now, me, I'm going to take this act because it's your gun. Because it's your gun. I know. You, go for, you, go for you, you have to be made neutral because like us in the media you have to be neutral. You yeah. can't say I'm going to go with this one. Mm. That means when the other comes, are going to chase them out. Okay, if you have the better song and you also know it's the better one, are you going to not give them the not? Oh, of course not. Uh, that's what has failed our words. Okay. Uh Owen, I think we our time is done here, but I would like to thank the people who've been watching Mulando Frederick Collins, Blessed Oriente Macdon. Macdon asked about uh, Oriente being off the show. Well, she'll be with us on Saturday, I promise you. And uh, you can always watch us every Thursday at 4 p.m. and Saturday at 4 p.m. This Saturday, while we are going under cranes, I don't know if you people will go, but we'll be here. I think we'll do the show earlier so that to let me. So you should give them the time. To yeah, I think, so that I think time will be. If we can do, yeah, no, let's do two, two. Yeah, let's do two so that people, people can, can give you time to go yeah, yeah. and support Uganda friends. Right, but thank you very much. That has been it from us. We link up again on Saturday. Uh, blessed Orient will be joining us. Oh, and will you be around? Definitely. Definitely. Uh, thank you very much. Any last parting shots before we close the show? Hey, let's see. Mm. I think uh, what I can say is uh, our industry mm. has grown, and uh, I think it's now it's becoming a two horse race. Yeah, something like that. Mm. So others are like oh, for all reasons. Off. For all reasons, hey, people are falling off slowly. We're seeing even the other big mix falling off. Mm. Now it seems to be a two horse because now even if you brought one on Facebook, it can't trade for two days. Never. Mm. So, you remember trade with Slim Muyembe, and these people are back. Yeah. So uh, I think. Is an industry so centered on two yes. people, which it who is, know how to play the game. Who actually. know how to play the game actually? Yeah. Now, even Baba could not be playing the game, but, but these fans it's are it's playing. Automatic it's automatic. Almost. <laughs> so basically, yeah. for us, uh, we, we always say the industry. And the other thing is the comment I wanted to make was, uh, I think the 2018 will be the music that has dominated has been bubblegum music. And 2018 has been bubblegum music, mm. and females have. Dominated. Dominated yeah. 2018. So I don't know. Maka you can redeem yourselves, the guys. But for us here, yeah, it's a wrap. We meet again on Saturday. Thank you.